Man, if I had stayed hidden, David wouldn't be targeting me. Wow, I remember this old phone. We decorated it together. Wow, sir, that was my 10th birthday. I didn't know Chloe kept this stuff. I'm lucky David didn't bust me for acting like it was my pot. Time to put on your daily armor, Max. Ugh, still reeks like a chlorine factory. See if you can find a suitable outfit in my fashion home. Frank might think twice about messing with Chloe now, but if David finds out, shitstorm. I thought Chloe might put up a pic of me instead. Can't compete with Rachel. Holy shit balls. Frank is scary. I should have let Chloe take that money. I don't think I'll be moshing today. Okay, time for some Chloe cosplay. Hey, there you go. Rachel left a bunch of her clothes with me. She's your size. But not quite my style. Max, you don't have a style yet. At least give it a try. You can always rewind back to your chlorine brand t-shirt and generic jeans. You suck. I like my shirt and jeans. But it would be cool to try on Rachel's clothes just to see if they fit. Stop second guessing yourself, Max. Put this on and let your inner punk rock girl come out. You can afford to take chances whenever and whatever you want to try. For example, I dare you to kiss me. What? I double dare you. Kiss me now. Damn, you're hardcore, Max. Now I can text Warren and tell him he doesn't stand a chance. Unless he's into girl and girl action. You're such a dork. Oh man, that was priceless when I kissed Chloe. She didn't think I would. Looking sick, Max. A couple tats, some piercings, and we'll make a thrasher out of you yet. Ready for the mosh pit, Shaka bra. Maybe not. Go on down and say hi to Joyce. Free breakfast? I have to, uh, wake and bake first. I promise not to tell. Let's not rewind and find out, okay? At least we haven't been identified yet. Thank God she's okay. I wonder when I can visit her. Oh my God, that smells so amazing. It's like when we were kids here. Check out Mad Max. <laughs> Ready to fucking thrash. I'm so hardcore.
I better not go in there. David might be in bed. Ew. Good morning, Joyce. Rachel! Uh, uh, I mean, Max. Oh, you startled me. Well, you fit those clothes well. Thank God you're not a hellraiser like her or Chloe. Now tell me exactly what you want to chow on. Eggs and bacon all the way. Remember when you guys would sleep in until I yelled out, Wakey, wakey, eggs and bakey. Totally. We'd wake up so fast. So this time you can help me with the ingredients. I need you to grab me the actual eggs and the bacon. I can handle eggs and bacon. I should evolve and become a vegan, but... Oh, bacon. The eggs always come first, as Joyce used to say. Wowzer, Chloe still eats the same cereal. So do I. Thanks. After all these years and everything that's happened, it's great to see you and Chloe together again. She hasn't had a good friend since you or Rachel. Oh, those clothes remind me so much of her. Such a sweet girl. I'm just hoping she's living large in L.A. I'd love to think that too, Joyce, but... We are on the same page, Max. I keep hoping that Rachel will show up or even send a message to Chloe from Hollywood. Or wherever she is. Be honest, Joyce. Do you think Rachel is okay? God, I hope so. She was, is, smart. And she always landed on her feet. Maybe I don't know her as well as I thought. Maybe Chloe doesn't either. Sometimes I feel like I don't know Chloe as well as I thought. <laughs> Max Caulfield, are you actually jealous of Rachel? Maybe. Rachel was so much cooler than me. <laughs> you think? Then why has Chloe been telling me she wishes she could be more like you over the past five years? Doubt it. Um, did she really? Five years ago feels like a thousand now. And that makes me what, a century old? <laughs> You're only 18, Max. Oh, youth. If only I could go back. It's not all that, Joyce. Voila, a breakfast fit for us queens. And a king. <laughs> go sit at the table. <laughs> 